We're here in St. George, Quebec, conclusion of the elite men's road race at the Canadian Road Nationals, talking with Rob Britton from Team Rally, who has just finished fourth uh, in the men's road race. Um, Rob, uh, last last 20k or so um, after you came off the um, off to, after you came off the uh, laps and we're heading back into town, it started to get really exciting when uh, when you, that that group started to um, come apart. Uh, can you tell me what, uh, what 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 was happening in that last 20k? Um, well, Christian hit it um, kind of on the climb out of the uh, circuits, and uh, he was by far all day strongest guy, hands down. Um, so he went away, and no one could really go with him without a great deal of effort. So. We kind of all collectively decided that we just kind of worked together. <laughs> it took all of us till about 15k to go to bring him back. But uh, yeah, when he went, we just kind of all went to bring him back, and it's just yeah, pretty much how it went for about 15k. It was everything we had to yeah close that gap down on him. He was just unbelievably strong all day. So strongest guy goes up the road. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, he, he he got as much as 30 seconds, so it looks like it maybe took you guys a little time to get organized, and then and then you started to sort of steadily pull it back. Yeah, well, it was, we knew it was block headwind the whole way back, so, I mean, he's strong, but you have to be kind of on, like, next level kind of stuff to uh, stay away from, like, the other five strongest guys in the race in, like, that kind of wind, so we kind of gambled and hoped that it would work, and it did, like, with about... Yeah, but I guess 10k to go there. We finally closed it down. So, and then I mean, everyone must have been worried. I mean, you all came in together into that gravel section, about 6k to go, um, and uh, no, no, no flats. It looks like, but uh, it looks like you attacked uh, just just out of it. Um, yeah, I uh, we'd scoped it out a couple of days ago, and I knew that climb coming into it was kind of more or less the ra like the last hurrah, you know, place to get like a bit of an edge off on everybody else so we brought Christian back just before that and then I was able to uh, hit it and there was a bit of confusion so I got up the road a bit but Antoine was strong and the other guys were strong so and I didn't quite have a uh, kick I mean I was cramping for the last 30k or so so yeah that was kind of my last ditch effort then we came down to a sprint with uh, yeah Zach and Ryan there so yeah not exactly my forte. Now you've been spending the whole season uh, racing primarily in Europe, uh, a lot in the UK because with the British team. Um, how has that been for you? Because this is your first uh, overseas uh, experience racing. Yeah, I mean it's been a huge eye opener. Like it's kind of funny coming into this race. Typically, I'm like, okay, you know, 180k, that's a big day. But now, that's been predominantly like I spent the first three months of the year. That's all I did was 180, 200k, you know, UCI races in France and stuff, and that made a huge difference in uh, both kind of my training and you know my ability to race strong for that kind of five hour mark instead of just four hours so I noticed that today I was able to kind of push through that usual agony once you get past four hours so yeah. So it's been a good move to uh, to, to, to go to Europe? Ah uh, yeah definitely I mean um, uh, it was getting pretty close last year and the year before where I was just worried to call it quits but um, the, my biggest regret with that would have been who have never been over in Europe, and now to uh, finally have gotten over there. Um, and I, I think it's something I love to do, and I love racing there. So I hope that uh, get a couple more years out of it for sure. Okay, well, thanks very much. Yeah, thanks, Rob.